finally here tonight, nothing screams fall fun like corn mazes. There are more than 500 created across the country each year. In tonight's Weekend Journal, CBS's John Lauritsen takes us to one of the biggest mazes found in a field in rural Minnesota. Um, we do sugar snap peas, green beans, broccoli. Um, we roll into sweet corn, which is our biggest crop. Brad Shimoleski and his family run Stony Brook Farms. They grow vegetables for grocery stores, but not all of their corn ends up in a supermarket. And then you decide somewhere along the line, we should make a maze. Our first year we started, it was just basically a pumpkin with kind of a maze, you know, in there. From a simple pumpkin in 2016 to one of the largest mazes in the world. Last year, Stony Brook put together an extremely detailed maze full of scary movie characters. And they did it all in 110 acres of corn totaling 15 miles of pathways. They also saw their number of visitors jump 500% from the year before, with people coming from around the world. This year, there's a Jurassic Park theme. This is actually in the tractor cab with us when we're planting. After he gets an idea, Brad works with a company called Maze Play to design his autumn adventure. Then he uses the best of farm technology to get the labyrinth just right. Going a steady three miles an hour. The program tells his tractor where to drop seeds in the spring so he gets this in the fall. This year, instead of strolling through Freddy Krueger's head, visitors can walk through the neck of a brontosaurus. They also made this maze cheap proof by planting the corn stalks tightly together and in two different directions so you can't bust right through it. The record for getting through the most difficult maze last year was 40 minutes, but some people can spend hours trying to find their way. You've never got lost. I haven't gotten lost. Not but, yet anyway. You know, if you do, you just keep on going in one direction and you'll hit a road eventually. But for most visitors, it's less about the end result and more about the journey. John Lordson, CBS News, Foley, Minnesota.